What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Back with another top tech under $50 for January, the first one of 2017. This is a series where we find a bunch of great tech under that price point. And if you're interested in anything you see, I'll have all the products listed in the description down below so you can check them out. First off is an insanely great value for mouse, not only for gamers, but for photo and video editors. This is the Logitech G600 and it has 20 programmable buttons. Now yeah, that's an insane amount, but since it is targeted as an MMO gaming mouse, these buttons can be used for a ton of things. You can see why this would be useful for you know playing MOBAs or MMOs. You can set a ton of different functions or macros to these buttons on the side. But for me, I use this now as my primary video editing mouse. It just helps me get a lot done in a much quicker fashion. I'd say overall the mouse is a medium size, but it just fits great in my hand. It's intended, I think, for most likely a palm grip. It's very ergonomic and the grooves have it so you can sit three fingers comfortably on top with your pinky finger on the side and obviously your thumb on the left side which is where all those buttons are. There are 12 in particular on the left side where your thumb sits and the buttons are also designed to be at an angle to fit your thumb. It just makes it really, really easy to press. So I'm definitely a big fan of this mouse for that price point. I picked it up for 40 bucks and since it's not brand new or anything, you can probably find it around there even cheaper. I just love all the buttons and setting them to certain things for photo and video editing. Or like I said, for gamers, you can really find a great mouse like this useful. Next up, we're gonna go with something audio related and these are a relatively unknown pair of headphones. These are the Turbine T3 from Blue Dio. They are completely wireless, but they have some extra bass functionality built in. Now I'll admit I never heard of them before and I was kind of skeptical, but going by all the great reviews I've seen, I really wanted to check them out and I was not disappointed. They have a few different versions, but these in particular, the T3 Turbines are the extra bass and they remind me a lot of Sony's extra bass wireless headphones. I picked them up in red, but they're available in like white, blue, gold, black, a ton of different colors, but the red in particular just pops. One thing that's really great about these is how portable they are, because they do fold up where the ear cups and the yoke fold in towards the headband, making these really great to just throw in your bag and go, since they're not gonna take up a lot of space. Now in terms of comfort, I'd say it's about um, in the middle of the road here, because while they're on the ear, for the most part, they have a pretty small footprint, so they're not bulky or anything. And I think the weight is evenly distributed throughout, which is always good, but they're definitely not the lightest pair of headphones I've tried. Um, other cool things, you have inline controls on the right ear cup. The logo is actually a button, so you can press it in to like pause or mute your music. You can press up or down as well to, you know, uh, increase or lower the volume and left and right to change the songs. And now, like I said, for 40 bucks, I'm not blown away or anything. They definitely kind of, you know, show their value there, but I feel like it's kind of a diamond in the rough for that price point, and I'm pretty impressed by its overall functionality. The next two are stands from Sateki. This one here is a lightweight aluminum laptop stand. I personally picked this up for my new MacBook Pro, and I got this in this space gray color, and it matches the laptop perfectly. Overall, its purpose is pretty obvious to elevate your laptop, but since it is so lightweight and the fact that the stand itself, you know, folds in and out really makes this a good buy. Its collapsible design is accompanied by these rubber pads throughout, so the laptop um, doesn't like really scratch it at all when it comes in contact with the surface. And there's also rubber on the bottom side of it to where your laptop would kind of sit, and that way it's going to prevent it from falling out or slipping at either time. For under $30, I think it's a great pickup for someone looking for something like this, obviously. And I've used a lot of products in them in the past, so I definitely trust this, and I definitely recommend it because it's overall just built very nicely for the price point. And as an alternative, we have a monitor stand from them as well. Actually, you could probably even use this for your laptop. But this classic monitor stand, I think is just really simple, 25 bucks, you can't go wrong. And say you had a really nice desk setup and you want to kind of avoid clutter and keep your monitors off your desk, buying one or two of these to prop your monitors up is definitely gonna improve the looks of it overall. And one cool thing that I always see from people who use risers is the fact that you can store things underneath, like your mouse and keyboard. Anything to save desk space. The classic stand comes in all black, so it's just, you know, very simple. It's gonna fit in really with whatever kind of setup you have. And it's definitely a solid design because it can actually fit up to monitors that are 33 pounds, so odds are you'll be just fine. For only $25 is definitely one of the best and cheapest options out there on the market. And it's just a good buy if you want to use something like this to either elevate your monitors to keep them at eye level, or like I said, it just free up some desk space. It's pretty solid. 
Then lastly is this little flash drive from Ugreen. It's 64 gigs, but unlike other options I showed off in the past, this is a very small and compact USB to lightning drive for your iPhones or your iPads. It was in my top back to school tech where I showed off one that was kind of a wonky design, I'll admit. This one comes in under half the price as that and you get 64 gigs out of the box. Now obviously, yes, this is limited to just iOS users, but if you don't have an idea, this is gonna be great because it's gonna let you clear up a lot of space on your phone or say you know you're taking a lot of photos or videos, you can dump all those photos and videos onto the flash drive and put them onto your laptop or your PC and reverse that if you want to put things from your laptop or your PC onto your phone, you easily can with the flash drive. I'll be the first to admit I kind of dropped the ball. My iPhone 6 is only uh, 16 gigabytes, so I'm constantly loading things off and on to free up some space because there's like no room left for photos and videos, and apps take up a lot of room as well. So I could just easily take some photos and videos off there, onto here, put it on my laptop or my PC, and be good to go. Like I said, it's the cheapest option I've seen out there for something like this, and uh, it hasn't failed at all. That's always a good thing because you don't want your files or anything to be damaged. So, so far, so good. That's pretty much gonna wrap it up, guys, for the top tech under $50 for January. Hope you enjoyed, and like I said, check the description down below for anything you saw in this video. I'll have it listed down there for you. If you liked this episode, definitely give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed the first top tech under 50 for 2017. Have a good day.